Give me Bob back. No! Hey, she hustled Bob. She hustled Bob. There you go. Hey, you said not to bring him back. You want to watch Buffy with me? Yeah. Do you know what Buffy is? It's a pig. It's a person, not a pig. It is a pig, Buffy. Let me use Buffy. Let me use the other thing. Because this is a pig. That's not a pig, that's Bob. Ah! Bobby! 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 You look like the girl from Despicable Me. Really? Yes, and Bob Ridley. <laughs> Hello there. Glory! You have proven to be a nuisance this entire season. A sexy nuisance, but a nuisance nonetheless. And today! With the power of Sarah, <laughs> you shall be put to bed by Buffy the Vampire Slayer. It shall end in the season 5 finale, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the channel. It's the finale of season 5. We are here. Let's go. Let's waste no more time. Sarah, are you ready for the reaction? Yes? Yes? Alright, we're ready for the reaction. Let's go. Oh, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Elimos, your 22 year old law film shooter senior show shooting his shot, baby. And we are finally up to the episode or season finale or season five. We are already here for Buffy the Vampire. So we've only been watching this show for a couple of months. It's been absolutely crazy. So yeah, I only decided to do this little intro right here. If you're new to the channel, just to give a quick rundown of who I am. But yeah, we're wasting no more time. There's going to be a crazy season finale. Let's see what's in store for us. Let's go. What's going on? <laughs> Help me. Call the police. Get out of here, girl. It just goes to show. You guys having a fight? Because, <laughs> you know, fighting's not cool. Um, how about the expression vampire slayer? <laughs> what are you talking about? Wow. Never heard that one. Okay. How about, oh God, my leg, my leg? <laughs> <laughs> this this is the tune up for Buffy. <laughs> See? Now we're communicating. Hey yo, come on Buffy, you're slipping up a little bit. Come on. Oh yo! <laughs> Free steak! Oh yeah, dispatch, dispatch. It's funny because like this guy called Buffy like an appetizer like a second or like a few seconds ago um, Just before the main course meal of that guy he was chasing But in fact this is like an appetizer for Buffy as well like a tune up like you know Just to hone in the skills a little bit to make sure that the fighting um, The fighting capabilities are still there a little bit of a warm-up before glory And it just goes to show despite all this thing going on with glory and all the like multiverse reality crumbling things um, there's still vampire stuff happening. There's still demon stuff happening within Sunnydale. Like, it's not gonna stop. It's similar to the uh, episode in The Body with just because Joyce passed away and just because they're mourning, the vampire stuff doesn't stop. And we saw in that scene when it attacked Dawn. So, like, yeah, um, just because we are, like, grounded in moments of reality or, um, thinking of something else that we are gonna do or, like, Buffy and the Scoobies have their focus on something else it doesn't necessarily mean all the demonic stuff is just gonna you know what all right we'll take the day off today but no nah, it still goes on and i like that wow been a long while since i met one who didn't know me <laughs> yeah usually all the vampires have like the vampire slayer downloaded in their mind that guy didn't know anything you're just a girl That's what I keep saying. <laughs> the walk off. Oh, that's a decent start, actually. Like, I didn't expect it to start like that with someone being chased by a vampire, like the perspective of someone else. Um, we had the rapid, like, I guess, POV running shot at the beginning of the episode. And then Buffy just creeps out of the door. I'm guessing it's behind the magic box shop, like the alleyway. Um, she's like, yo, what's going on? Who's fighting? And it's like, yeah. Um, yeah, like I was saying before, like, um, there's probably multiple people be getting attacked by vampires and that just so happened to be this guy's lucky day and Buffy could be able to stop it because their focus is somewhere else. But um, yeah, interesting start to the episode. We didn't get right into like, you know, the Scoobies delving in on their plan, um, conversating in the magic box shop. We saw like one guy being attacked by a vampire and then yeah, Buffy coming up, 
doing her thing and then yeah that's what i tell to myself i'm just a girl <laughs> you're more than that buffy and ritual because it's always got to be blood we're not actually discussing dinner right now blood is life black brain why do you think we eat it wait 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 just a quick question if dawn's blood is the one that has to be drained and she's the key um can Buffy's blood be drained as well? Maybe that's got something to do with a gift. Like death is a gift. Does she have to give up her life? Like they're the same blood. They both got Summer's blood. Could, should it be something like that where Buffy ends up draining herself to save Dawn? Um, because they got the same type of blood. So can Buffy be the key at the same time as well? Since Dawn is her sister. But if her blood has to be drained and Buffy has the same blood, Summer's blood, can Buffy's blood be drained as well? And that's a quick observation. I don't know. I'm probably miles off here, but I'm just putting that out there. No, you don't understand. We are not talking about this. Yes, we bloody well are. Oh, shit. They are. <laughs> if we can't stop her. Come on. Oh, yo. Say it. Spit it out, brother. We're bloody well talking about this. Tell me to kill my sister. She's not your sister. Oh. <laughs> Tensions rising. Blood boiling. No pun intended. She's my family. She's more than that. Oh, she's my family. She's me. It's physical. Dawn is a part of me. That just goes to show how much. The only part that I... We'll solve this. We will. Don't have another coma, okay? <laughs> That just gets to show how much Buffy's grown attached to Thor from the beginning. Starts, then every living creature in this and every other dimension imaginable will suffer unbearable torment and death. The last thing she'll see is me protecting her. Let's Your go. <laughs> you'll die. Then I'm sorry. Yo, you can tell this episode is just gonna be massive. You can tell. Okay. All in favor of stopping glory before the ritual. Suggestions, ideas, times are wasted. Uh, when you say you love us all, shut but... up. <laughs> cool. I bet you've got some dark spell of ruin. Uh, make her a, a, a toad, a little poppy toad. You hit her with a hammer. Doubtful he'll surface again this close to the ritual. Oh well, it's doubtful he's surfacing, bro. My guy's been spawning in and out like it's Call of Duty. My guy's been like. <laughs> literally changing bodies like it's nothing but um it's interesting to say about like uh and xander just said about killing a regular guy and i was reading the comments about episode 20 spiral um this morning about you guys saying technically buffy killed one of the brotherhood guys so she killed a human on screen i think it was during the chase sequence and i think the writers overlooked that some of you were saying it was just an interesting point and as well, i wanted to point out I like up to season five now um, I was just like imagining myself like the journey we've been on it kind of reminds me of like Harry Potter and Stranger Things as well and I'm reading the Harry Potter books for the first time and imagining the characters at such a young age in the first book to now I'm up to the seventh book and you imagine them like how much they've grown and you imagine their characters from the movie it's just great to see them from like, such a young age and then you see them in the journey they've been through same with Stranger Things and like all the characters starting in 2016 how young were they are to their, where they develop now and it's the same with Buffy with this journey from like like high school then to the journey of like college and stuff like that but it's just become more than that as well and how adult themed this show has been I love the journey so yeah it's been amazing apart from your incredibly uninfectious enthusiasm have you anything else to contribute? the Dagon Sphere oh sorry? yay shout out Anya when Buffy first met Glory um, she found that magical glowy sphere that was meant to repel glory we've got it in the basement it <laughs> might drive her away or her olaf the troll gods enchanted hammer hey. if you want to fight a god use the weapon of a god buffy's uh, nah, that thing's too heavy to... she's worthy yeah good she's worthy buffy is worthy buffy is worthy buffy is worthy and so am i we are worthy <laughs> that's bigger than you <laughs> buffy's worthy <laughs> Throughout this whole season, I've literally been predicting. I'm like, Buffy in eventually is going to have to get a weapon to fight Glory. Or some sort of, like, other power. And I'm just like, yes, finally, this is it. They're using the Olaf God. One of the weaker episodes of the season has come back. And you know what? There's something valuable out of it to get. And it was his weapon. So, yeah, Buffy's got a newfound weapon. And I knew. I was like, finally, she's going to have to get it. Eventually, I've been predicting it. And bang, it's happened. 
And Anya, shout out to Anya in this scene, the most energetic of them all, trying to generate ideas, and then bang, remembers the dagger sphere from like the first episode. And yeah, I feel like that's gonna come in handy as well. Thanks. Here to help. Wanna live? Smart kids <laughs> are so hot. <laughs> you couldn't have figured that out in tenth grade. Whoa. Hey. Hey. <laughs> it's me. I have to be there. Big day. There we go. There's your key to finding her. I don't think you want to. Be glory. Be glory. 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 Yo, yo, glory. yo. You just stopped yo, shouting yo. already? Yo, yo. Yeah. It seems like Glory and Ben have come to some sort of agreement that so, the ritual has to be done. Bub? What do you got against old Benji? He's a monster. Because, you know, I bleed you. The portal's open. But once you die, they close. The faster you die, the better for your sorry species. Why does Glory always talk in like a sexy manner, no matter what? She's talking about death and I'm infatuated. How does that work out, man? That shouldn't be allowed. The way she delivers it, bro. The way she delivers it. It's like she's flirting with her at the same time. It shouldn't be allowed. It's not, it's not fair. <laughs> I bet Buffy knows that. Oh yeah, she did that Captain America to the back. I imagine you hate me right now. Try and doubt her and you know I'll stop you. <laughs> Little bit of tension in the ranks here. But hey, it's all respectable, I guess. Everyone understands each other. Sometimes worth saving. This is how many apocalypses for us now. <laughs> oh, uh, well, six at least. Feels like a hundred. Sometimes worth sacrificing I've one to save the universe. Always one. I don't understand. Damn. I don't know how to live in this world. These are the choices. If everything just gets stripped away, I don't see the point. Literally, like. I just wish. I just wish my mom was here. Ah, damn, man. Hey, we got big Buffy now. Don't worry, Buffy, you got this. It's like literally the choices she's had to make. Like literally, they haven't been easy throughout the seasons, and now it's just like, yo, I sacrificed so much. My mom has like, I had to sacrifice Angel, the person who I love the most, even though he's back. But yeah, um, the, the person the most to save the world. And now you're going to make me sacrifice another blood relative, like a family member, my sister, the only like living summers left. That's the hardest choice he's had to make yet. She already ran through it with Angel and that was hard. But think about Dawn now, someone that's blood related, her sister and what she's gone through, summers, blood, everything. And... Yeah, that's definitely going to be the hardest choice you've had to make yet. So this is like the highest stakes in Buffy we've had yet in terms of like an apocalypse. I know we've had six like Giles said, but this is like the highest stakes one. And you never know, Angel could show up in this one. His services could be useful here to beat down some of the minions. If not, help um, Buffy take down Glory or distract her even a little bit. But I doubt he'll show up. Your guy told me that death is my gift. I guess that means a slayer really is just a killer after all. Hey, not spirit guy, spirit girl. I think you're wrong about that. If Dawn dies, I'm done with it. <laughs> Damn. I quit it. She can't lose another one. That's it. <laughs> um, I'm sure it's here. Oh, In a bro, yeah, are you? Honest, let's look over here, where we didn't look yet. <laughs> yes, yes. Not to worry. These guys would be banging if there's like something about to hit them in the face. If there was a gun to the head, they'll still be banging. Literally, you're meant to be looking for the dagger sphere, and then they're literally banging downstairs. The fate of the world, like literally, is in their hands, and they're like, "Nah, we're gonna bang, we're gonna bang." Oh, doesn't seem to surprise me. These two. <laughs> oh my! Oh, Buffy Bob. Spike sex bot. <laughs> Why didn't they just melt it down into scrap? Maybe Willow wanted it. That could be useful right. as a decoy. Robotics. Science. There's no way they'd reveal it without having some intent to use it, unless it's an Easter egg or something, just like to shade still low. Like that. I'm supposed to be 
be some sort of sick joke. <laughs> I mean, things aren't bad enough. Hey, you had to dress up as one, so at least this it's... is an omen. <laughs> hey, hey, shh. No, 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 it's an omen. It's a higher power trying to tell me through bunnies that we're all going to die. Oh, God. I honestly don't think I could be more nervous than I am right now. You care to wager on that? Oh! What the fudge? That construction money coming in? You want to marry me? Bro, get on the knee. Get on the knee, you pl Oh. That's a yes? Can I take that as a maybe? You're proposing to me. Yes. <laughs> You're proposing to me because we're going to die. And <laughs> you think it's romantic and sexy and, and you know you're not going to have to go through with it because the world's going to end. <laughs> I'm proposing to you, Anya, because it's not. I think I'm going to live a long and silly life and I'm not interested in doing that without you around. Oh, we're going to lose one of these guys, aren't we? We're going to lose one of these guys. Oh. Okay. Yes. <laughs> I mean, yes. Yo, Xander's young as well. They're only like 20, no. 21. No. Like in the show sense. Give it to me when the world doesn't end. Hey, that's touching. So it's a yes without the exchange of the ring yet. So <laughs> it's still on hold. Not for me. Some ideas. Well, I'm not. Yeah, because all the people that have been affected by glory are gravitating towards like the factory area. I'm going to bring you back. I guess Tara's the key yet. Tara's the key to know her location. No. no, no, that's good. That could be pivotal. Thank you, guys. Um, well, then you're gonna need some... Way ahead of you. We have time? Yes, we do. I have the stuff upstairs. Uh, Buffy... <laughs> Still not invited, because the, the spell was redone. And then Spike. <laughs> oh, how much they have grown. <laughs> uh, Spike's like, Netflix and chill time! <laughs> <laughs> Presto. I always knew I'd go down fighting. <laughs> I'm counting on you. To protect her. I'm actually interested to see if to someone... the world. Oh, yeah. Even if that happens to be tonight. I'm actually interested to see if someone does bite the dust this episode. I don't know. I don't know. We've already seen Tara be really impaired, so maybe they could possibly... Um get her off i don't know i don't know if all the scoobies will survive this situation because it's like the biggest threat we've had yet i'm just trying to think if someone's gonna bite the bus they've obviously set up the xander on your thing with the proposal it'd be really sad for them one of them to go out like literally it'd be really sad for them one of them to go out and then not even like the scoobies the rest of the scoobies find out that he proposed like it's something that he or she would just have to keep close to their heart and it never happened but, or it could be like a happy clappy ending. I don't know. I don't know if anyone's going to die in this one. I'm, I'm actually interested to see. Because, like, oh, it could be really emotional in the point, like, we think someone's going to die. I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe Giles? Maybe Giles? I don't, I don't know. I, don't, I guess we'll find out. But Giles has already been injured. They've teased that. I don't know. I'll be a minute. I know that I'm a monster. Bro. But you treat me like a man. Every piece of this. Get your stuff up right here. Every piece of dialogue in this episode is fantastic. I didn't even care about the glory fight so far. I'm just so invested in the dialogue with the characters. Just the build up alone to the final fight is like amazing. How are you? How are you gonna marry Jane Dawn in this finale? This is literally Mary Jane in Spider Man 1. Literally. Yo, the model is going to be a beam in the sky and now I know where Joss Whedon got the Avengers idea from. <laughs> he did it before. Thanks. <laughs> this is the Stark Tower in 2000. <laughs> Literally, and the big port is going to open above it. <laughs> what are you doing here? She's with me. Oh, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh! Oh! Already? Oh, damn. Okay, maybe Dawn didn't need to get defeated to have what the... What the frickin' hell did that bitch do to me? Big day. I got places to be. Big day. Need a brain. Suppose I could always use yours. Okay, then. <laughs> Come and get it. <laughs> you 
think this is gonna last more than eight seconds. I notice you're talking, whereas in your position, I would attack you. <laughs> well, most sweaty, naughty feelings causing one. Should we? Go guard the girl. Diversionary tactic? Go guard. It might be a diversionary tactic in terms... I don't, I don't think the Buffy bot is in play here, but part of me thinks it is as well. But I'm just looking at the mannerisms and the way Buffy's delivering her dialogue. I think that's the actual Buffy right there. Because I think if the Buffy bot was to be used, they would have told her. Unless there's something hidden to the audience and it's actually being used. But I feel like they wouldn't have shown it with Zen. I don't know. I don't know. I, in my mind, I think the Buffy bot might be used. But at the same time, I'm cautious as to why it may not be. But I love how they're both decked in all black <laughs> ready to fight. <laughs> speed as usual either which it's not her might be this oh i heard it's supposed to repel you so my guess is you probably shouldn't touch it either <laughs> why would she catch it why <laughs> you're gonna wish you were oh oh there goes the guy that gets me where are the brotherhood guys in this i thought they'd come back stronger with like more men like they all, I remember one episode they said they'll just keep coming. I wonder if Tara's back. Yeah. Hello. Hey, yo. Yeah. It worked. I got so lost. Yeah, I'm, you. I'm guessing the last week or so Tara's been like this, or whatever few days. She would have like forgotten everything. I will always find you. Al, I'm a little bored. Oh, I'm sorry. You're yes, I knew it. I knew it. I said it. Buffy's gonna come in with the hammer, the real Buffy. Come on, I Science knew it. Robot. Did everybody else know the player was a robot? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of divergence, yeah, I was like the hammer. Hey, yo, boy, the predictions, the foreshadowing. <laughs> Listen, I was like, course, like I love, I love like just Buffy in all black, and then now the parallels, literally. Oh, uh, like the parallel, the stark contrast, the juxtaposition. Glory, all black, Buffy, white this time. The re the resurgence, the resurgence of Buffy. You're not the brightest god in the heavens, are <laughs> you? <laughs> you a dumb god, Glory. Oh, <laughs> uh, there goes the hammer. Oh no, it got caught on the chains. It's alright, it's still in the mood. In the mood? Yo, this kind of reminds me, literally. Spider-Man 1. Even like Spider-Man 3 with the scaffolding. <laughs> no way home with the scaffolding. <laughs> oh she uppercut a bit with the hammer. Oh! Okay, that must be some super slayer strength right there to I guess survive that fall. Glory understandable, but Buffy, damn. You lost your hammer, sweet cheeks. <laughs> what are you gonna hit me with now? She hit her with Miley Cyrus? Whatever's handy. Surprise bricklayer picks up a spare. Xander <laughs> Xander hit her with Miley Cyrus? He came in with the wrecking ball? <laughs> it's crossed my mind. There's only a few minutes left to start the ritual. Bro, the minions are throwing bricks like it's Home Alone 2. If you know, you know. <laughs> oh, this guy. You can help me. No, me. no, no. This guy's gonna start help the ritual. She's coming. Far out, man. My guy came in with the ghost face unmasked. Literally. Literally, he's like, nah, I ain't wearing the mask. I'm still gonna bring out the knife and stab you to death. Or bleed you. Who? Who's he talking to? Go. Yo. Who was Spike talking to? Fellow stay dead when you kill him. Look who talked to. <laughs> Come on, Buck. Let's you and me have a go. Oh. Lucky he didn't have a stake on it. How do you kill the dog if the guy can teleport like Loki? Just immortal. Oh, Dawn. Now I'll just have to settle for causing it. Sorry, Dawn. Glory. Bleeding. Can't kill me. No. My arm's not even tired yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Spike gone die. No, Spike won't die from that. It'll be severely injured, but 
He might die from that. Stop it. You're a god. <laughs> it's funny how the doc is posing. It's posing more of a threat than glory at the moment. Oh, she getting violated. Oh, I just heard the squishy noises. She getting her head caved in. Nah, sorry, Ben. Violate him as well. I'm sorry. She missed her shot. She goes. She ever, ever comes near me in my oh, we move. Oh, oh. I swear. Damn. <coughs> We're stuck with each other, huh, baby? <laughs> you need a, a med. Maybe Giles is going to put Ben out. She could have killed me. No, she could. I will, but... Buffy even knows that. Giles ain't gonna take that Still, chance. She couldn't take human life. Yeah, about taking human life. She's Last a hero, you see. <laughs> a few episodes ago. <laughs> She's not like us. Us. Yeah, show him the ripper. The ripper. The ripper. Let's go. Yo, that's savage. Don't suffocate Ben like that. Hey, Giles done what needed to be done. Fair enough. Oh, 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 damn. I should be interested. What? She, she just chucked him off? Uh-oh, the ritual started, technically. Come here. You're gonna be... Okay. Damn. How did the doc do that, man? The doc out of all people came out of nowhere, man. RKO style. Oh, 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 oh. We got all types of demons from different dimensions spawning in. That looks cool. Hey, yo, Smaug came in. What the fuck? Everything's happening. Starts it and until the blood stops flowing, it'll never stop. What if he stopped the bleeding somehow? No, you have to let me. Because it's always got to be blood. It's Summer's blood. Bang! I caught it! She's me. The monks made her out of me. It is your gift. I'm playing 4D chess. Chess not checkers, baby. Summer's blood. Hey, that's my thumbnail shot. <laughs> that's my thumbnail shot. <laughs> Beautiful. There's not a lot of time with him. Imagine not knowing there was a season six and you watched this at the time. Thinking five was the finale, like as a audience first time. Mental. We didn't even need to hear what Buffy told Dawn right there. We already know how much she loves her, so having that wide shot of her just talking to her and just the emotion, perfect. Yo, Buffy doing the Black Widow. About ten times better. Always love you. This is the work that I have to do. Damn. Ooh. Okay. Death is your gift. There we go. Tell Giles I figured it out. And I'm okay. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You have to take care of them now. You have to take care of each other. Surely they're not gonna have that speech have and to be strong. have her come back. Don, the hardest thing in this world is to live in it. For me. Hey, this this is this is hitting the feel. Oh fuck me. This feels very feels! Buffy and some. Imagine they buried her next to her mother. Oh, imagine that next to Joyce. Only 20, man. She saved the world a lot. Nah, you're not gonna end the season like that. If this is the last shot, I'm gonna riot. I'm not gonna riot, alright? I'll take back what I said. Wow, what a banger! Like, banger is an understatement. I know there's a season six, and I know Buffy's gonna come back somehow, but I don't know if it's gonna be the same Buffy coming back, if you get what I mean. But 
like the fact that we just had that sort of um, shot at the end with all our characters crying over Buffy um, and then just cut straight to the tombstone that hit even more it's just like yeah bad luck you're not going through it times pass by and bang we're ending it like that now I am so intrigued for season six. I've heard some things about season six, okay? I've heard that some people's favorite. I heard it's really divisive, and I am really, really interested in it. But I still got four episodes of Angel to go through before we get into season six. But where do I begin with this episode? The fight with Dawn and, and sorry, I, the fight with Glory and stuff like that. That was okay. That was good. Like, it was a good finale. It was solid. The confrontation was solid. And like I said, Buffy got her weapon and was completely unstoppable. Got the better of Glory Weakened her with the dagger sphere. And then literally, um, Giles killing. And he has that killer instinct in him. He has that killer nature from his Ripper days. And that's how he could get the job done. Like he said, Buffy could never kill a human. And I predicted at the start of the episode. I, predict I caught the Buffy bot thing. And then I caught the uh, Buffy with... Um, the summer's blood and her sacrificing herself. That's her gift. Her gift is death. Death is your gift. And maybe because she sacrificed herself and was willing to do that. Similar to the Angel episode. Like if you have seen Angel, there's an episode where Angel goes to save Dala. And because he was willing to kill himself to save her, um, he survived. Like the, uh, the ultimate sacrifice at the end was like him getting staked. That was the third challenge. And because he was willing to get staked, he survived. And now it could be that situation as well, where because Buffy was, like, um, uh, because Buffy basically confronted death and accepted death, maybe she will survive. And that's my sort of thinking at the moment, similar to like Angel. But um, I, I don't know what to say. The character interactions, unbelievable, absolute banger. Buffy sacrificing herself to Summer's blood, fantastic. And then at the end, yeah, not even like time to grieve with our characters, just the music overshadowing everyone, everyone's emotion. And bang, we end with the tombstone, like literally the gravestone. That's all you need. You cut to that and it's like, you have no time to process it. You're like, oh shit, that just happened. We killed our main character like that. But yeah, the only reason I didn't predict Buffy would die throughout this is because of season six and seven. Like, that's why I was like, okay, Buffy's not going to bite the dust. But I knew death was her gift, but I thought somehow she'd be resurrected, which I think somehow in the following seasons will. But it's interesting. I'm very curious to see where it picks off now. Like, how are we going to begin with our characters? What's going to happen? Like, that's what got, that's what's got me really intrigued. That's what's got me really intrigued. And I really liked it. The doc... Yeah, the doc was just an obstacle, I guess, to get the ritual going and uh, for Buffy to make that sacrifice. They all slipped past the doc. They thought they'd killed him, but he's probably some type of demon or something. He just got pushed off. Buffy dealt with him in two seconds. But yeah, I kind of wish Glory was the one to instigate the ritual somehow still and Buffy couldn't get there in time. Just to have Glory a bit more of that threat. The doc, uh, he was kind of annoying. He came out of nowhere. But yeah, I guess that's the point. There's others that worship the beast and he slipped through. Um, unnoticed and that's why yeah um, uh, Buffy wasn't able to get to him in time because Buffy's focus was just on glory and then yeah killing Ben off as well and then um, Xander proposing to Anya everything happened this episode a complete banger like the banger of all bangers literally <laughs> banger of all bangers but yeah I hope you enjoyed my reaction to the season 5 uh, finale ladies and gentlemen sorry if I look like a mess today I do but yeah it was it was a banger nonetheless as always been your boy Ellie Moses take care God bless peace Thank you.